this is hard in business, right? Is how long do you stick with something? And it, it's a very important thing because, you know, you have to make a decision strategically as a leader on how long you're going to stick with something no matter what, uh, mm. unless something happens, right? So, right. you know, everybody's like, oh, this is a fail. You know, not everybody, but there's a lot of people like, oh, this is a failure of leadership of Mark Murphy and Brian Gutenkunst. Mm. And, and, you know, some somebody <laughs> said, did we see the Rich Eisen thing? And Rich Eisen had this really cool thing about like, hey, welcome. Welcome to being a Jets fan, Packers fans. Welcome yeah, to being right. a normal I NFL fan, uh, yep. which was really great. But and he actually was giving praise to to Goody and and you know that clearly there's a there's a there's there's not a leadership vacuum there there is a there is a strategy in place whether you agree with it or not or I agree with it or not they don't care which is what I said on Watch Party um, yep. but you don't know what you have when you just change stuff all the time now on the flip side of that you have to give stuff a a expiration date a time. Right. And right. and I've been guilty in business. I, I always say, like, you know, some things take two to three years before you even realize what you have. And I've had things like that. And there have been other things where I should have probably let them, you know, die or, or, or like got rid of them two years in or one year in. So it's, these are very hard decisions you have to make. And in the NFL, these are accelerated by fans and the billions of dollars and all the things. But yep. if you look Lots at the pressure. Packers, his, if you look at the Packers historically, uh, what they've been able to do, they are the winningest team in in football uh, in the NFL uh, that they've been able mm -hmm. to do over the last 30 years. They weren't even close 30 years ago. Um, so right. consistently they're the second when they're the second most, the second or third most successful team in the NFL in the last 30 years from a championship and, and winning uh, uh, points, and winning, football games. Uh, yep. winning football games standpoint. And so you have to, you have to have some trust there. I know a lot of people like attack us for being like, "Oh, well, you guys just you know you just let them do whatever they're going to do." It's like, no, we are going to go through this season with Matt Lafleur and Joe Barry and Jordan Love. We are going. Yep. That is what is. That is what we're going to do. Seventeen That's games, that no matter what we happen. do or say, that is going to yep. happen exactly. Because, and I'll tell you this too, and and there's a reason why this is smart. One. You can't tell another human being that you just said you are my guy. You don't you don't you, if you're if you're my guy, you're my guy, right? And I'm going to give you the chance and I'm going to commit to you, right? Commitment matters from a leadership standpoint of what you're going to try to do. And also like when you look at how, you know, I go back to the Rich Eisen thing about how young the team is, and that's not an excuse. A young team is not an excuse. What's great about a young team is they don't know what they don't know. So they got to figure that out, right? right? They don't know what they don't know. Right. Yeah. That's a positive and a negative. So it's a negative right now, but it's a positive from the standpoint of they can be molded in. I got a fly flying on me. Uh, he's like <laughs> liking what I'm saying. Um, they can be molded into what. <laughs> they can be molded into what we need them to be on this team. They can gel together. They can be together. Term, they all yes. the, you know, the yes. one thing I I really the, probably the only positive I can hang my hat on in this situation is the fact that these guys are doing it together. And if they are able to find a way to punch through, you know, the negativity, the 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 feelings of you know powerlessness, the feelings of like making mistakes and power through that, they're going to do it together, which is going to ultimately make them stronger. So that is the one thing I'm going to hang my head on. But not, all of you out there that are asking for Joe Barry to get, be gone or, or Matt LaFleur to be gone or play calling to change. Play calling is not going to change. I do not see that. I do not see Matt LaFleur making pay, pay, changing up his play calling because how the F do you learn if you don't keep trying and you don't keep trying to figure it out? I just don't see Matt going, oh, you know what? I'm overwhelmed. I'm going to change play calling. He's like, no, he's going to keep trying to figure it out week in and week out because that's his job. I don't right. know. Yeah, I, I I agree for the most part. Uh, I do wonder, as I posited on Packers Daily and Kyler clipped, and then everyone got to attack me about it. I just wonder, you know, does it come to a point where Matt, of his own admittance, last January, said, "If I think this gives us the best chance to win, yeah, I'm going to consider it and or do it." And I'm not saying he's there right now, but you get. A month in, month more into this, and they're still kind of fits and starts on offense, and they can't find their way. Blah blah blah. Does he think like you know what? Maybe it's time. I don't know. 
I'm just saying, the man himself has admitted he's thought about it. 